Hello my soccer universe. My birthday is now a week ago and I still owe you the full haul for my birthday. This jersey you know, this is the Arik Athens uh, shirt that my daughter got for me and we posted that video on my birthday and I still very very cute that she decided to get me from her own money a shirt. We did it of course together. But I got two more shirts that are not from Greece. They're from Italy and no, they're not Milan shirts either. So that makes it actually quite exciting. The first one is more or less from my aunts because they gave me some cash as well. And I bought a shirt from that already knowing that they will give me cash. So it was ahead of my birthday. It's a shirt that I actually, when the shirts for the previous season were released, I thought, mm, this is actually quite a nice one. I would love to have this one. I bought it off Amazon. It is the Napoli away jersey. Yes, Napoli did not have a great season, but hey, how often do you get a Napoli jersey with a Scudetto? Well, maybe next season as well. But more importantly, I really love the Vesuvius cityscape on the shirt. That makes the shirt actually really, really pretty. Now, this is not the match version. This is actually this more basic version of the shirt, meaning that we have the crest. It's just a cloth. And also the Scudetto is just a cloth. Uh, this is screen printed on the EA7, but this is all sublimated. And if you look a little bit closer, you see all the Napoli Napoli signs. You see it already on the back. This is all sublimated on. So a little bit of a cheaper product, but I said, okay, don't want to go for the more expensive one. I mean, I did this for the Scudetto winning jersey, but this away jersey I think is quite nice. And actually it will also make it easier for me to wear. Again, was not a great season for Napoli, but this was a beautiful shirt. I actually think Napoli had quite some nice shirts last season. For so I've lost count now, but I have so many jerseys from the past Serie A season. There were some really nice jerseys in there. I think I've made a video that you can find here when I was unpacking the Inter away jersey, where you see all the other ones that I have. I think there are two from Fiorentina. There are two from Milan, there are of course the Inter jersey, there's one from Roma and so on and so on. So even one from Venezia in there as well. The next one is already from this Serie A season and it is potentially my shirt of the season. I, For now, from what I've seen, this is my favorite shirt so far. It was quickly selling, I'm not saying sold out. So I already knew that a month ahead of my birthday, if I would like to get this shirt, I better get onto it. When I ordered it, I could only find it at one store, which curious enough was Foot Locker. But I knew I have to go for it. No waiting for this can't be coming cheap. We're gonna go for the full price here because it's just absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous shirt. Which shirt could it be? Well, I guess you already have an idea. It is this beautiful Juventus third jersey. Adidas actually have done an absolutely amazing job with their third jerseys this season, especially the ad campaign was already great with former greats wearing these jerseys. I love the retro look, which is of course symbolized by the old Adidas logo, the Trefoil logo. This hasn't been on an Adidas shirt since the early 90s, I would argue. And now I have the second shirt because, you know, the Columbia Centenary jersey also had the Trefoil logo. What's even better is that we have here an 80s style Juventus zebra crest, although it looks a little bit more like a horse, which makes it great. This is not the player version, but, uh, you know, the more common replica version where the overall pattern is a little bit less in your face here you see the all the shiny sparkly stuff it looks a little bit weird but look a little bit closer these are just the current uv logos in an all over print and a little bit weirdly arranged which actually adds to it that this is made from the club logo Technically, this is now my first jersey with the new Juventus logo, although the Juve logo has been around since 2017. Yes, there was a Juventus in there as well. The biggest surprise of this jersey was when I unpacked it, I expected this to be fully black. I thought this is a black jersey. And then it turns out to be a very, very dark blue tone which actually makes it a little bit cooler. Yes, I would have loved a black Juve jersey, but that this is a dark blue tone is really, really cool. Maybe it should have been given away already because if you look at the sleeve cuffs, 
there is another band that is blue and then kind of this uh, grayish steely blue which is also here so maybe i should have gotten the idea that this is actually a blue jersey and not a black jersey but hey it is still a really really darn cool jersey absolutely love this one on the back i keep it blank for now it just says juventus i have been contemplating you know in league play there is a golden sponsor on there and even the name that i think is a golden one i have been contemplating whether to get this one and print it for myself but to be honest i like it in this rather basic configuration a whole lot better so yeah this is the jersey that i really wanted i have it it's i still think this is the best jersey that has been released Augsburg's jersey is probably running it close, but this one is better, I would argue. So there you have it, my full birthday haul. I think three really cool jerseys. The Ike Athens shirts I love because now I have the full Greek top team set, if you would like. This has been on my list for quite a while and I thought I've missed the boat and I did not miss the boat on one of the best jerseys this season. Let me know your thoughts on these three jerseys. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. Talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!